Yusuf Dikic. Dikic, an Olympian from Turkey, has enraptured the internet and has even become the subject of some pretty wild theories. Dikec, 51, won a silver medal in the 10 meter air pistol mixed team competition on Tuesday. During the event, it is standard practice for competitors to wear the allowed eyewear and take advantage of any special equipment that is permitted. But Dikec says he doesn't need them. He appeared to be sporting his everyday glasses with a hand in his pocket as he claimed Turkey's first ever Olympic medal in shooting. He said, I shoot with both eyes. Most shooters do it with one. So I didn't want all that equipment. Shooting with two eyes, I believe it's better. I've done a lot of research on it, so I didn't need the equipment. Shooting with my hand in my pocket has nothing to do with artistry. I am more motivated and feel more comfortable while shooting, he said, adding that this stance is actually about bringing the body to equilibrium and fo focusing and concentrating. The internet is trying to learn more about Dketch's backstory, and they've concluded, I think fairly, he could be an assassin. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know a trained assassin when I see one, joked one user. Did Turkey send a hitman? To the Olympics, commented another netizen playing into the intrigue surrounding Dikech's cool and composed approach. A fourth user added, Turkey government, we have a different kind of job for you this week. <laughs> Dikech is also winning over the internet for his love for cats, as you can see here. Facebook a Facebook post that purportedly had his backstory even went viral, racking up half a million likes. The post described him as a mechanic who took up shooting after a very tough divorce. With Dketch asking for his dog back from his wife after he won. But it turns out the entire post has, was made up and he's not even new to the scene. He competed in the 2008, 2012, 2016, and 2020 Olympics. And you can see him with his medal here. So congrats to Dketch, but Jenk, uh, this is one of your countrymen. How do you feel about this? Okay, so I, I hate tribalism and uh, we can't give in to the cultural myths that we have. Oh, my religion is better than yours, my race is better than yours. All that being said, yes. <laughs> 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 so that was super fun. Uh, everything about this story is fun. It, when I saw how he was shooting, I thought in my head, that's so Turkish. <laughs> Okay, the no ear protection, that's so Turkish. So I've told the story many times, but when uh, uh, human rights workers, et cetera, in Turkey, um, just, I don't know if human rights is the right word, but they were trying to educate Turkish truckers about AIDS when it first came out, right? Back in the 80s, 90s, et cetera. And all the truckers said the same thing, AIDS doesn't cut us. Okay, this is like a <laughs> Turkish thing to say, right? COVID doesn't cut us. I have a friend who said COVID doesn't cut me. Got COVID three times, it cut him. Okay, okay. so, so like you tell a Turkish guy while shooting a gun, oh, it's gonna hurt, give you ear damage later. He's like, ear damage doesn't cut me. I'm good, I'm good, okay. The him with the cats, that's so Turkish. Turks love cats. If you go to Turkey, you'll see cats everywhere, okay? So that's like the most Turkish thing there is, other than not protecting yourself. Uh, okay. So, but my favorite thing has nothing to do with the Turks, it has to do with the Chinese. Now, this is random because I'm married to someone who's Chinese. So, Chinese media is going nuts over this guy. So they're positive he's an assassin, <laughs> positive. No one's gonna talk about it. There's memes and they've already started doing like almost comic books after him. He's become like this amazing character in Chinese media. And then somebody's like, his birthday is January 1st. Right, he's not an assassin. <laughs> yeah, I bet that's what his birthday is. So this is taking on a life of its own and I love it. Waz, you're the sports guy, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, to me, this is the best part of the Olympics, right? Um, is these kind of athletes and competitors and performers that just on a day to day basis don't get this level of attention and, and praise, and that this guy could just create a moment by just being great um, and, and making a bunch of people happy and, and, and inspiring all of these memes and stuff like that. To me, that's the best part, like learning these, these people's stories, like, 
caring about water polo for two and a half weeks, like that kind of stuff is is what the Olympics are all about. And this story is is no different. Um, just you know, I'm in several different group chats, right? Like different affinity groups. I got my sports group chat, I got my home group chat, I got my LA group chat, I got all these different chats that I'm in. And this guy has made an appearance and damn near 90% of them, right? Um, and that just shows you the 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 cross-cultural appeal of of what he's gone out there and do. And and I think it's dope. If only because I got to learn today that Turkish truck drivers don't like wearing condoms, y'all. <laughs> Uh, I guess if you, you if you're not Turkish, you wouldn't know that. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> you ask any Turkish guy, do Turkish truck drivers? No, <laughs> they're not gonna do that. Okay, anyways, um, uh, I I know one cat dude that JD Vance do not does not want to mess with. Okay, <laughs> you want to make comments about cat ladies and cat dudes? Be careful. There's a Turkish assassin out there. <laughs> He's not an assassin. <laughs> okay, but okay, last thing guys, the reason that uh, I think a lot of people love this story is because he looks like one of us. And I don't mean me as in a church guy, I mean like as in a regular person. He looks like he walked in off the street, he's 51 years old, he's in the Olympics and he's like, oh, you guys are doing a shooting contest. Yeah, all right, here you go, boom, boom, <laughs> boom, boom, got them all, sorry. <laughs> By the way, his score would have won them the contest, but he has teammates too. So like he was amazing. And so who doesn't dream about, you know, later in life being able to do something in the Olympics and winning a medal. So we're all getting to live vicariously through him. And that's part of the reason why I think the whole world loves him now. Yeah, that's been it's been a bright spot for me for sure. And I've I to your point about tribalism, I, I same thing. I mean thanks to this community and your generosity in helping uh, fundraise for Yemen relief. I have a tattoo on my leg forever, saying I'm un-American and some other words. But <laughs> there's a little truth there. But <laughs> even then, I'm watching this and I'm like jumping off my couch, getting excited about swimming, a sport I never would watch, or the gymnastics. Of course, like who isn't inspired by this comeback story for the uh, women's gymnastics team? It's so exciting. And then I'll go back to being un-American as soon as this is done. <laughs> okay, by the way, there is a literal answer to your question, uh, JD Vance. <laughs> uh, so uh, we didn't get to that story earlier in the show, but uh, his old comments about Simone Biles, that quitter, what are we celebrating that for? How did that age for you, JD? <laughs> like an old couch. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.